so so far you have seen the provisioning plan basically looks like this let's say we have a provisioning plan inside provisioning plan we have account request inside account request we have the account request inside account request we have various attribute request we have various attribute request with account request we have operation that which operation is going to be carried out as part of this application and then native identifier for this per account a provisioning plan may contains multiple account request okay a provisioning plan may contain multiple account requests so there is no such restriction that a provisioning plan will only contain one account request no there is no such restriction so a provisioning plan may contain multiple account request so we have account request one let's say and we have account request two and inside account request two we have various attribute request as well okay now this is how the entire provisioning plan looks like in the provisioning plan we have account request inside account request we have attribute request so if you ask me to deconstruct this entire provisioning plan it will basically looks like this if you deconstruct the provisioning plan one by one it will look like this that is we have the provisioning plan inside a provisioning plan we have the identity detail inside the provisioning plan we have the identity detail and we have list of account request inside the provisioning plan we have the identity detail along with that list of account request if i further break this list of account request it will basically look like it will basically look like that list of account request will have multiple have multiple account requests so these are the various account requests let's say account request one two and three now if you further break down the account request if you further break down the account request then account request will have if i break down the account request then account request will have what account request will have operation application native identity first it have operation this is my account request which contain the operation then we have application name then we have the native identifier for the application then we have various attribute request we have various attribute request i mean what did that native identity comes under here i just discussed right that is there are two types of native identifier one for the application one for the sale point 
So here, what you are seeing that is the unique identifier for the application in the target system. As you have seen in this provisioning plan, which we just now showed you, here you can see there are two different places where native identity is mentioned. One is attached with provisioning plan tag, and the another one is attached with account request tag. In the provisioning plan tag, whatever the native identity is attached, with the help of this unique name, you can easily search the identity for which the entire operation is being carried out. Okay. For example, for this Andrew Gray user, the entire provisioning plan has been written up. So this is the unique identifier of the user in sale point. Okay. Now, whatever thing which you are seeing over here in the account request native identity, this is basically the unique attribute of the user in the target system. That is with this attribute with this value. You can search the user in the target system not in sale point, but in the target system. Okay. Oh. Got my point. Yeah. Okay. That's the same thing. I'm explaining it over here in the account request. Also, we have native identity. Okay, that is the unique identifier of the user in the target system not in sale point, but in the target system. Now then if I further deconstruct this attribute request. It basically contains operation. Name. Value. This is your attribute. Request. This was account request. So account request contains operation, application, native identity, and attribute request. Attribute request contain operation, name, and value. That is which attribute you wanted to pass as part of this operation. And then account request inside a provisioning plan, we have list of account request. And the plan contains identity along with that list of account request. If I further deconstruct the list of account request, it will have multiple account requests. If I go and look into one account request, it will look like this and then attribute request look like this. Now here couple of things that you need to understand that how many different types of operation that are possible for each and every account request. If you are seeing we have operation over here. Now what are all the different operation which are possible for? Account request. Now by default there are six different types of operation which are possible inside sale point one is create operation one is modify operation one is delete operation enable operation disable operation lock or unlock operation. Okay, so in total we have six different types of operation which are possible over here inside sale point. The first operation is create that if you want to create a user account in the target system, then we have something called modify. Modify operation will be used if you want to make any changes to the account that may be related to group membership passwords, any other attribute details. Then we have delete. We have lock. Or unlock. Similarly, we have disable or enable. And at last we have. Disable or enable we have lock or unlock delete modify create. So these are the various operation types which are possible inside sale point. Okay. Now when you see any provisioning plan, you will see either of them is basically used as a operation. Either it is a create operation, modify operation, delete, lock, unlock, disable, enable. Any of these operations are going to be triggered. Now when I talk about this attribute request here also, we have something called operation. Inside attribute request, we have something called operation. So there are four different operations which are possible in attribute request. One is set operation that you are trying to replace the existing value with this one. You are trying to replace the existing value with this one for the attribute that is set operation. Then we have add operation that is 
you are incrementally adding something to the existing value for example let's say you have a group membership attribute over here that is your attribute right now group membership is a multi-valued attribute so on that moment of time we need to add something additional on top of the existing value so that's why we have add operation as well similar to the multi-valued attribute we we are adding we are also removing some data we are also removing some data from the existing value so we have removed operation as well so we have set add remove and at last we have revoked that is we are basically trying to delete the attribute itself that it, it is no longer required on that moment of time we have a revoke operation so in total we have four operations possible for attribute request we have six operations possible for account request 